If you understood that, you might be a ghost. Hey hackers, it's Halloween! Well, not yet. We're like the month of Halloween. We only get Halloween once a year, so like live it up. You know what I'm saying? Since today's Halloween video is all about pranks. Time to hack your world! Boo! Oh, my name is cracked! Did I scare you? No? It's getting harder and harder to scare people these days. With this puppy, it's gonna be easy. I call this hack the screaming cup. The way the screaming cup works is basically the string makes sound waves when you go like this. And the cup amplifies the vibration so it makes it seem like it's screaming or roaring. sounds like a scream. For this DIY, you'll need a plastic cup, string, violin wax, and some fun decorations. First, poke a hole in the cup. Widen the hole a little bit so the string can fit. Burn the edge of the string so it doesn't fray. Careful with this part. Ask an adult for help. Now take the string and coat it in violin wax or rosin. This makes the string stickier, which sounds cooler. To make it work, tighten the string with one hand and run your fingers down with the other. The wax creates resistance on the string, which makes the cup vibrate and amplify the sound. You can stop here if you want, but I'm gonna give it some teeth and eyes. Right? If you touch in different ways, it sounds different. Like, <laughs> it sounds like the monster's choking, but it also could be like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> That's more like a burp. <laughs> thank you, thank you. There should be like a whole like a symphony of just <laughs> screaming cup symphony. Let's make it happen, guys. Next hack. <laughs> so the second hack is about punch. We're gonna be hacking punch, people. I mean, you can't really hack punch, but you can make it spooky. But today, we're gonna be handling dry ice, which is frozen carbon dioxide. And you do not want to touch this. It's negative 109.3 degrees Fahrenheit. Negative. That's insane. Don't touch it. Make sure you're safe. Get some goggles on. I'm gonna get some dry ice off the camera. And look at it smoking. Looks like a cauldron. I feel like I'm a witch. Double, double toil and trouble. Something, something, the, the bubble. Macbeth. <laughs> Whatever, I'm a scientist. I'm not a lit major. For this DIY, you'll need your favorite punch, dry ice, and spooky gummy candies. Definitely make sure you ask an adult for help with this one. First, place your gummies on the glasses. Use toothpicks to stabilize them. Now use gloves or oven mitts to add some dry ice to your punch bowl. Whoa, so epic, right? The final step is to ladle the punch into your spooky glasses. Make sure you do not get any dry ice in your cup. I'm serious, this could literally burn your face. And that would pretty much ruin your Halloween. As long as you're careful though, this is a fun and super easy way to spookify your party. Science. Goldie the science girl. <laughs> That's a prank in itself. Hey dad, what's in there? I don't know. Gotcha. So you're gonna take your glass, take your ladle, and you're gonna start scooping Make sure you don't get any dry ice in that because that will be bad. And make sure to make a huge mess. <laughs> then I found these really cool little ice cubes on Amazon that light up and you can change the color. Green, perfect. Doesn't that look appetizing? How cute is that? A little spider. I should name it. 
Barbara. Barbara the spider. How you doing, Barbara? I'm doing great. Uh, Barbara, I'm making a close-up. This is my best angle. <sighs> Next hack. You know what the saying is, trick or treat? And then they always give me treats because they're good people. I feel like no one gives the trick. Everyone's like, treats. Although one time I got a toothbrush. <laughs> Who gives greeting cards on Halloween? Nobody. This is the trick part. For this DIY, you'll need a greeting card, glue, tissue paper, and of course, glitter. First, you're gonna make a little pocket for your glitter using the tissue paper. There's an opening here. That's where the glitter goes. Now seal it shut and let it dry. Cut a piece of white paper to the same size as your glitter pocket and glue it to one side with hot glue. This is a spring, basically. When the card opens, it'll rip the tissue for the glitter bomb. Glue both sides. Where you want to trigger the glitter explosion. Now just put it in the envelope and find some lucky friend to prank. I made a bunch of them, so I can give them out to all my friends. I'm gonna reenact what your friends are gonna be like. Oh, here's your greeting card for Halloween. You're like, oh, thank you so much. Happy Halloween. Your friends might hate you for this. It's in my mouth. I'm gonna find glitter everywhere for the rest of my life. Which prank was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Mine was the screaming cup. He makes a lot of noises. If he's happy, he's like, if he's like mad, he's like, <laughs> if he's hungry, he goes like, Rawr! please give me food. And make sure to like and subscribe to be part of the Goldie Squad because we make pranks like this. That's all I got for you guys. <laughs> Goldie Blocks signing off. I use Goldie Blocks, it's spooky. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Pranky spook your world. Pranky spook your world? Oh goodness. Halloween, let's do it.